Yes. Prime Minister, uh, acknowledge during the election uh, that this was a, a past injustice, one that the government of Canada should address for this injustice, and should work with the entire Chinese Canadian community to uh, seek a, a mutual solution to to this issue. And I certainly will be supporting the Prime Minister in this regard. And uh, time frames and the actual uh, final um, uh, final uh, form of, of whatever solution we come up with, I can't tell you right now, but it's certainly something that we're working towards. How about you personally? You right now we're into week three or just over week three of the government's, uh, um, the, of our government, and we're currently, uh, uh, but for a whole range of issues. Okay. Last number of years, uh, the previous government did make some significant commitments to our high-performance athletes, and we're starting to see the results of that. In, in uh, we started to see the results of that at the Torino Olympics. We placed uh, third overall. We are now uh, uh, Winter Olympics uh, powerhouse, and the goal here is to place number one at the podium in Vancouver in 2010. And it's objective that, that I will be working toward as we move into 2010. It's going to be a great uh, opportunity for Canada to shine on the international stage. Uh, do you think the reward for the winning effort is too low in Canada? Well, I don't support uh, financial uh, awards for uh, our Olympic athletes. I think that uh, we have uh, limited resources as government and I think those resources are much better put toward supporting our Olympic athletes with uh, coaching resources, with training resources, with uh, research into technology and uh, I don't think it's uh, uh, rewarding our athletes. Well, winning two elections, right? It seems pretty easy. Can you tell any tips or advice for this? <laughs> Work hard, uh, build a great team, um, I didn't win the elections on my own. We had a, it was a real team effort. Uh, we had uh, literally hundreds of volunteers who came out to help us and without their help I couldn't have done it. And I think that's the real story for anybody to learn from, about elections is that they're one on the ground uh, and you, you need to have a, build a good team and motivate them to uh, help you out. Now you're the minister. What's your future of your political career? Well, I'm, uh, I, you know, I have a lot of work ahead of me in my role, and uh, I'm focusing on that and, and making sure that I deliver my portion of the commitments that we made during the election.
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce some of the people. I can't introduce all of them, but before I, I start introducing some of the elected members, can I ask all the candidates to stand and wave because we want to say thank you to you for carrying the flag. We want to say thank you to you for, for uh, helping us win because your efforts contributed to the win. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope all these folks are here. I would like to introduce to some of our elected uh, members that are here. I know that I saw Patrick uh, Brown. Where's Patrick? Hey! I think Patrick adopted me 15 years ago. Yeah, come on, Patrick. Adopted me 15 years ago was one of his fathers, right? Ah, let's see it, buddy. Mike Wallace, where's Mike? Mike Wallace. Here, here, can you name it yet? Oh, yeah, okay. Gary, good for you. Congratulations. If you get here, we'll you. <laughs> How about Helena? Is Helena here? Helena Burgess? No. Helena Burgess and Peter Van Loan. Is Peter here? No. They're both parliamentary secretaries. Once again, let's give them a great hand. The uh, first speaker tonight will be a gentleman who will bring greetings from John Tory, our conservative leader, Mr. Norm Sterling. Norm is here, and provincial member. Norm. Thank you very much, Senator. Ladies and gentlemen, my uh, name is Norm Sterling. I represent Rock in Eastern Ontario. And Eastern Ontario did extremely well in the federal election. We won. Uh, about five or six ridings from the Liberals. And we won many of those ridings by two or three or four hundred votes. And we won those ridings because we had workers like the workers in this room who helped their candidates. So I want to say to each and every one of you who helped in the last federal uh, campaign, your work is really, really important because the next time through, People are going to have a chance to look at our MPs, to look at our cabinets, to look at our prime minister, Stephen Harper, and they are going to come more easily to our side. And so I say to each and every one of you, your, your work to get that last quarter out is really appreciated. I uh, would like uh, to uh, bring you greetings on behalf of my leader, John Tory. It is with, with great pleasure I congratulate all of the organizers and volunteers who have worked tirelessly to ensure the recent federal election victory. This is the first time since 1988 that a conservative government has been elected in Canada. This is a time of new and exciting opportunities for our party and our country. Please accept my best wishes and thank each and every one of you for all of your work in the last federal campaign. We hope that you will all be there for us in the next provincial campaign, signed John Tory, leader of the Progressive Conservative Party of Ontario. Thank you very much. Well, it's really great to be here and uh, to thank all of you for all the work you did during and before the election campaign in 2006 and 2005. You know, most people who are involved in, in politics, who are involved in civic participation, don't realize all the effort that goes on behind the scenes with these election campaigns. There are literally in every riding hundreds and hundreds of volunteers who donate their time freely, who take time off of work, who sacrifice family time, who sacrifice holiday time to come out and help us across this province, across this country. And our event today is to say thank you to all of the volunteers and all of our supporters. And while we did make breakthroughs in every part of the province, in every city in this country, we will make breakthroughs in the next election. Of that, I am confident. And I'll tell you why. In Ontario, in the last election, we went into that campaign with 23, 24 seats in this, 23 seats in this province. 
and we won every single one of our incumbent seats. And I tell you, this election, we won the 40 seats, and we will win every single one of those incumbent seats, and then some, especially yeah. in this
child care for, the, for our children, whether it comes to reducing our taxes, whether it comes to better health care, and uh, what was the number five? Maybe it was the fifth one. I always forget. Five, five priorities. Thank you. Reducing violence in our communities. And we said that we're not going to be a government that's going to have 50 priorities every day of the week. We're going to, we're going to start with these five. Then we're going to get all the other things done as well. And that resonated with, with people across this country. In places like Mississauga and places like the GTA, we didn't quite get the residents that we wanted. But I think Con is absolutely right. Now that they see us in government, now that they see that we are going to fulfill our promises, now that they see that we care about the issues that Canadians care about, now that they see that we're going to clean up government, now that they see that we care about healthcare, that we care about making sure our streets are safer, that our children have better opportunities for them, that their taxes are lower, they will be able to make a judgment in Mississauga, a judgment in Scarborough, a judgment in Market, all throughout the GTA that was not possible for them to make before, quite simply because we weren't in government before. It had been a whole generation since a conservative government had been in power. So now we, we are the authors of our own destiny. Now we can show Canadians that we are on their side. Now that we can prove to Canadians that we are working for them. Now that we can show them that there is a competent government concerned about their issues and their future. This will make a difference, and we will be stronger, and we will be better, and we will be more successful in the next federal election, you can be sure of that. Let's celebrate that this evening as well. We got a lot of great candidates in this election, 308 of them to be exact. Many of them are here tonight who are not as successful as, uh, as those of us who were elected. But they worked hard for their party, and they worked hard for the principles and values that we share. They deserve the applause of the people here this evening, and they deserve to know that next time we will work just as hard. Next time we will be just as persevering. Next time we will be as true to our values and our principles as we were this time. Next time we will be as united as we were this time. Next time, we will have a majority conservative government that will, that will definitely include all of them as well. Let's, let's celebrate that. <laughs> Friends, I also ask for your help. Being in government is never easy, and it is so easy, as we've seen from successive liberal governments, that you can lose your way and lose touch with the people that brought you here. So I ask, on behalf of the government, one simple thing. Be our supporters, yes. But also be our best advisors. Be our best counselors. Make sure that if we err in some way or another, you can give us that constructive criticism that governments that are confident enough to govern need from time to time. Be there for us, not only in the good times, but sometimes in the challenging times. But also be there for us to be part of our team. And let me tell you, I know this as well as, as many other people who have been in governments before. And Senator Danino, I, I'm sure you'd be nodding your head on this one as well. You cannot run a government with just a conservative caucus of, of, uh, of uh, MPs and senators. You cannot run a government with a couple of hundred staffers that are help us in, in Parliament Hill. We are not the government. You're the government. You are the supporters of our government. We're all in this together. We're all part of the same family, whether it's uh, Lois Brown, who I just noticed uh, there. Uh, please give her a round of applause.
And we are going to do that together. So be with us. Be with us in the good times and in the challenging times, but be there, be there for us with the best advice and counsel you can give us. And together we can make a better tomorrow. I'm looking forward to the challenge. All of our colleagues are, are going to look forward to the challenge. And we are going to do what Canadians want us to do, and that is bring good government to Canada. Thank you very much. Make sure you don't let down on the membership uh, drives. Make sure you continue to raise money for your ridings, whether they are winning ridings or they're riding. We have to redouble our efforts. We have to redouble our commitment to make sure that the folks that are here tonight, I want you to tell these folks by giving them a great round of applause that we're going to do this for you. And to close, we have a, a special treat.